If you look at uh, the products and services that exist in this world, sometimes it is truly staggering the, the number of choices that people are given. There is this feeling, again, amongst people that I spoke to who, who are known champions of simplicity, that too much choice can actually stifle uh, a customer's enthusiasm or, or stall the, the selling process because you're just giving them too much to think about. So I just do my own casual research and uh, because I'm a techie kind of a guy, I look at like uh, Dell's website versus HP's and then Apple's and it's, it is quite extraordinary. If you look at, at Dell's website, there I, I might get these numbers slightly wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. 26 distinct models of laptops. This was as a couple of months ago when I last looked. Um, uh, HP has 41, I believe it is, and Apple has three. And what's extraordinary is that if you look at the PC category, um, you know, share of market, Apple never gets more than like 10%, but because they do these fewer things better, um, their share of the profit in the category is actually more than HP and Dell combined. So that lack of choice isn't really hurting Apple at all. <laughs> you might even say it's helping them. You don't want to dumb things down and you don't want to get people to feel like they don't have enough choice, but, but you want to give them the right choices as opposed to infinite choices. You want to make it easier for them, simpler. So I think Apple has done a terrific job of that and there are other companies on, in the world that that treat their customers in that way. Where it, it's a, actually a way of giving a customer more respect um, and demonstrating that you understand what drives them because you're not saying, we don't know what you want, so here's 40 things to choose from. We're saying, we get that you have this particular need and this is a great solution for you. And that proves to customers that you share their values. And when a person feels that a company shares their values, they tend to give them their business and that makes them more loyal customers. There's a lot of um, concern out there for Apple these days that maybe it's losing its sense of simplicity. Steve Jobs is gone and Tim Cook doesn't share those same values, whatever. That product lines are getting bigger and um, it's less simple to choose what you're looking for. Product naming could be an issue. Now, this is where I'm going to start sounding, if I haven't already, like an Apple fanboy. And I don't mean to because I try to be objective. But I think a lot of it is the result of Apple just being the most overanalyzed company on earth. Because if you look at what they're doing compared to what other companies are doing, it is vastly simpler. I think what the real issue is, is that uh, audiences mature. Apple has tens of millions more customers today than it did when Steve Jobs was CEO. And they're just, there's a wide range of needs. Um, people say Steve would never do that with certain things when in fact Steve did do that. The iPod was this revolution, changed the way we, we listen to and discover music. Um, and it was a super big hit. And then a couple of years later, there are four iPods. And nobody had any problem with that because that was Steve Jobs doing it. So now we had a tremendous hit of an iPhone and now there are three models of iPhones. You know, they've still got one more to go before it's as bad as iPod was. But the reason they had all those iPods and the reason they have all these iPhones is because each one is for a distinctly different need. So to me, that's not a sign of complexity. That's just a, a company maturing, having a larger audience and, and, and maturing a particular product line. And the same is true of iPads. You've got the pro version for people who need to create, you know, with the pencil. Um, and you've got more of a consumer level iPad. So those things don't bother me at all. Naming is a different issue because you, know, you get like an iPhone, there's a 6S and a 6S Plus and an SE that doesn't have a number on it. Uh, what's gonna happen when the 7 comes out? Is it still an SE or is it gonna be a 7SE? And why does it have two letters and the other ones have one letter and that kind of a thing? It does start feeling a little bit like, um, like many companies out there, big companies, a lot of numbers and letters, and that part does not make me happy. As just as a as an Apple fan, I think must be a better way to do that. Uh, you know, could be just like iPad or iMac and not have any number attached to it, and just it has a year in parentheses when they, when they speak about it, or when you get service or whatever. Maybe you just have an iPhone or an iPhone Plus. Um, 
that sounds simpler to me, but you know, who am I? There's all kinds of behind the scenes reasons why things happen. But I think, again, whether or not something is truly simple almost doesn't matter. It's the perception of simplicity. And I think today, the perception of simplicity with Apple is a bit more challenged. There are those product issues, uh, which may or may not be an issue depending on your point of view. But then there's something like Apple Music that has been generally uh, not well received when it comes to the interface. It's, a, it's confusing. Um, and you do have to wonder, how did Apple ever release that product? You know, why didn't they look at that? And they have their super high level of uh, their high standards when it comes to simplicity. Who didn't raise their hand and say, I don't get it. <laughs> Can you make that more clear? So I don't know. I don't know what the answer is there. I just think it's um, maybe some growing pains. Maybe Apple needs a uh, minister of simplicity to uh, oversee it all. Who knows? But I don't think that Apple is losing its love of simplicity. If you listen to anything Tim Cook says, anything Johnny Ive says, they're not just saying things to try to fool us. That's what they talk about, making products that people can love. And you have to have a simple product for someone to fall in love with it. So there's no doubt in my mind they have the values. They need to execute on the values. But I, I think they'll, again, the fanboy speaks. I think they'll be okay. Mm -hmm.